Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a habit tracker so that you can track your habits effortlessly in Obsidian directly without the help of uh, using third party applications uh, like other habit trackers or other to do note apps. So, this is what uh, our habit tracker will look like at the end of this video. Uh, you have these checkbox icons, uh, you can track uh, numbers, or uh, you can just uh, use these options. And there are a lot of possibilities here. Uh, so let's begin our tutorial without any delay. This is a demo vault and if you are new to Obsidian, uh, then I suggest you download the Obsidian Starter Vault from the link in the description so that you can play with nodes. There are almost uh, 500 to 600 nodes uh, in that Obsidian Vault and you can see what you can do or how you can manage your nodes too. So let me go to another vault, a new vault here and let's set up uh, new folders where we'll be using, which will be used for this uh, habit tracker creation. Uh, let's create a new folder called templates and another folder called uh, daily notes, which we'll be using to create this, uh, this habit tracker. So we'll be needing five plugins so that we can set up habit tracker and a lot of these plugins will be already uh, installed in your obsidian vault and if you are using obsidian for a few time then you might be already uh, in, you might be already using a lot of these plugins uh, but if you are new you will have to install them uh, the five plugins that we'll be using are daily notes plugin templated plugin calendar plugin data view plugin and then uh, the final one the most important one the database folder plugin so let's begin our tutorial uh, for that first we'll need to uh, Download the templated plugin and set it up. Here we go to Community Plugins, and if you are, if you have turned on the restricted mode, turn it off, and go to Community Plugins. Search for Templator here. Templator by Silent Void. Click on Install. Templator is a similar plugin to Templates, uh, the core plugin of Obsidian, but it is more powerful. It has a lot of more functionality that the Templates plugin does not have. So click on Enable go to option and choose the template template folder location that we previously created here uh, that is templates where we'll be storing our templates and click on this trigger templator file on trigger trigger templator on new file creation so i'll turn it on now we have set up our templator plugin now we need to go to our daily notes plugin daily notes will be installed uh, as a core plugin in your obsidian vault here we have daily notes go to settings uh, go to core plugins and here we have daily notes and go to the settings and here you will see date format new file location template file location and open daily note on a startup which you can turn it on or turn it off as you wish so here we have new file location where do we want to store our a new daily notes that will be the folder daily notes that we previously created and the template that we'll be using for creating new daily notes is uh, located in this folder templates now here is a date format that you might want to change uh, it if you do not change it will look something like this but i prefer using uh, this different format that is year 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 slash month 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 slash year 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 and then month month dash day day so what do, what this does is creates a new subfolder inside your daily notes folder uh, called the year 2022 or 2023 or 2021 all the years will be created and inside those years a uh, new subfolder of months will be created like august september november like that and then only you will have these daily notes so it helps in organization uh, instead of having all these notes, all these daily notes, uh, all in the same folder. So the, the format is uh, year, 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 slash, month, 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 that is MMM. And then dash, sorry, slash, Y, 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 dash, MM, dash, day, day, DD. Okay. So now we have set up our daily notes. Now the third thing we need is a calendar plugin uh, and it will be in the company plugin section. Click on browse and search for calendar here what this does is adds a calendar widget on your sidebar uh, you might be already using it or if you are not using i suggest you to use it because it is helpful in adding daily notes and doing your calendar as gen in general here we have installed our calendar plugin if we cl click on enable and option uh, here is nothing you need to change or you might also want to look into settings here i'll not do anything here mm, and i'll just 
open my sidebar from here and you will see here is the calendar option let me move it to the first uh, column and here we have a calendar and if we click on any of these dates it will create a new for new folder new note for that date now we need to install the data view plugin for that you need to go to empty plugins search for data view and data view is one of the most powerful plugins uh, you might need to spend uh, some time to use data view plugin but once you understand how it works you can perform a lot of uh, tasks on obsidian easily and it will help you in uh, your note taking too so click on options once you have installed and enable the javascript javascript queries and inline javascript queries uh, that's all you need to do here now the another plugin that we'll need is the database folder plugin that's the plugin that will help us create a habit tracker in obsidian and it's a plugin that helps to replicate the notion like a database in obsidian easily so that is database folder this is the plugin that we'll be using by rafael gb and click on install so click on enable and you have these options here uh, you don't need to do anything here uh, now we have installed all of the plugins necessary plugins and we have this folder daily notes folder and templates folder now let's create a template that will be used for our daily notes we'll click on create a new note inside this folder called a daily note today okay uh, so that will be the name of the template today and we'll use an alias alias first because without an alias I think the data database plugin database folder plugin does not work properly so you need to add something in the metadata uh, before you proceed uh, in this process because without uh, this if the daily notes doesn't have any metadata then uh, the database folder plugin or the uh, habit tracker will not work properly so we'll just be using alas and that will be the name of the today's date let me go to my article that i have written a few days back here i have template for my uh, daily note so i'll just copy it from here and paste it over here ah uh, i think it doesn't it didn't work properly or uh, okay list now it's properly formatted i guess so what you can see a lot of these things here uh, this is the beauty of template plugin which allows you to add different variables in the notes so what this means is alias uh, this will add tomorrow's date here and i like to create tomorrow's daily note today so there is a tp date dot tomorrow what this means is uh, here you will have if i create okay let's say what is today's date let's say today is uh, 3 august and if i create a 4th august uh, new daily note uh, let me first uh, set up the daily notes template uh, for that go to com core plugin daily notes and the template file location is today this is the file that will be used as a template for daily note and if i create on fourth uh, if i create a new note for fourth august it will create uh, this exact same date it will add a fourth august on allies and it will add the name here of, of the fourth august and it will also add a link to my previous day's note and tomorrow's day note so you can see here let me just delete this here Here you can see these subfolders because we made a different we used a different format for uh, we used a different format in the daily notes plugin so here you can see uh, now let's just delete this note you can if you want you can just uh, copy this code from the article uh, in the description that will be uh, article link that will be provided in the description if you want if you don't want tomorrow's date and you make notes on the same day then you can uh, rename this as today and here also you can rename this as today and here uh, tp date dot now this is today's date so you can write here comma minus one and comma one here so you can edit like that uh, so now it's time to create a habit tracker for that you will need to click on right click on this folder 
daily notes and create on click on create new database folder here we have untitled database uh, let's rename it, rename it as a habit tracker and let's add few other nodes here few other daily nodes uh, randomly here now if we go to go back to habit tracker you can see here uh, all of these daily nodes are linked here now let's delete this first column here delete it and you can go on this more options and click on open database setting to uh, see these different options uh, so this database is a habit tracker let's name it let's use a new habit tracker new tracking habits let's use this compact and use the sticky first column you can also add filters or you can also select the source of database for database data so if you are using tags you can use tag or uh, if you are using folders uh, you can select current folder and I'm, I like using folder so I'll select current folder which means all the uh, files that are in this current folder will be used by this plugin database folder plugin for creating a database so now we have these different uh, nodes now if we click on new call uh, if you click on this plus icon it will add a new column let's say this is a habit about reading now you can uh, change these property types this function is similar to what you have in notion if you are if you used notion previously so uh, let's select checkbox item here and let's uh, create another habit called writing here and we'll be tracking uh, the words number of words here so let's select the number here and you can also use other things like uh, my mood you can track your moods here and let's select this property type as select which means you will have the option to add uh, some properties like happy or sad or you can also add emojis here uh, to track your modes so let's add this one here now you can see you can also use modes you can type the number here let's say 260 words written you read so you can add these more habits that you want to track and you can also adjust the cell sizes and this plugin is uh, pretty much in development but it has come a far way and I hope uh, it continues in the future uh, the uh, creator of this plugin is Rafael and he's uh, doing pretty good work and if we let's uh, go into this note here and how this works is uh, this sources from the metadata of the uh, daily, daily note and if we click on this note here uh, this daily note of August 4th you will see uh, this automatically adds new data in the metadata you see here uh, let's go into this note here and we don't have any uh, metadata here but if we click on here it will say yes you have done reading and if we write here 550 it will add another data that is writing is 550 so this is how this plugin works and it is pretty helpful in uh, uh, tracking your habits or creating a database in obsidian easily so yeah that's it uh, pretty easy and pretty efficient now you don't need to use any third party application you can just open your note taking app on your computer uh, this uh, doesn't currently work on your phone uh, so if you you can directly go to this daily notes click on habit tracker and just click and tick it's easy right uh, easy to track habits and your modes or anything that you want to track right into obsidian and it will be stored in your daily notes which you can extract using data view plugin in the future or you can just keep them as markdown format which will be used in the future so yeah that's it uh, this is how you create a habit tracker that you will actually use in obsidian so thank you for watching this video and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss more videos like this on obsidian in the future and please don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter uh, down in the link will be down in the description so that you don't miss uh, any updates on obsidian or any amazing uh, content on obsidian in the future have a great day